Hello everyone. Now today we are going to see the loop closure equation and its application and uses in various which are basically used in various mechanisms. So basically the loop closure equation definition is it is the sum of relative position vectors for the links which is forming a closed loop in the game given mechanism that summation is always equal to zero means all this summation of vectors the that particular it will be always equal to zero and as the links in the mechanism are rigid hence even after changing the position and orientation or magnitude of the position vector it basically does not change with respect to time so in this case this is basically constant for any given mechanism as in mechanism any one link is fixed so the position vector its magnitude and position does not change with respect to time now this loop closure equation we are now going to see for four bar chain mechanism then for slider crank chain mechanism and for offset slider crank chain mechanism now this is the loop closure equation for four bar chain mechanism so in this case this is a planar mechanism why because this mechanism is now represented in one single plane that is on x and y axis that is the cartesian coordinate so such type of mechanism is called as planar mechanism and for the special mechanism it will be oriented means it will be represented in a space which is having 6 degree of freedom and this mechanism is having 3 degree of freedom in which two are translatory and one is rotary so here ad link is fixed if you see here this ad link is fixed then ab is crank bc is the coupler and cd is the rocker so ab so here ab bar is nothing but the position of b with respect to a bc bar is nothing but the position of c with respect to b cd bar that is the position of d with respect to c and da bar that is the position of a with respect to d point so these are the vector form which is which will be having some magnitude as well as direction and this o point is the reference point and all these points that is a b c and d they are been located with respect to this reference point that is x y axis origin that is zero point okay so now <clears throat> here o a bar is nothing but the a bar and ab bar that i have shown you that it is the position of b with respect to a now in the vector form if you are representing ab bar then it will be equal to b bar minus a bar for bc bar that will be c bar minus b bar for cd bar it will be equal to d bar minus c bar and simultaneously for da bar that will be a bar minus d bar means whatever the summation means whatever now here we have taken the vector form we have now taken the position of that respective point with respect with reference to the origin in this diagram and as our loop closure equation says that the sum of relative position vectors for a given mechanism it will be always equal to zero so here if you see the equation term that is ab bar plus bc plus cd plus da bar that will be equal to whatever the values we have taken this whatever the vectors we have taken here in the subtraction part so all these points will get cancelled and it will be equal to zero so this is the loop closure equation for four bar chain mechanism okay so in this way for, for loop closure equation is nothing but what it is the sum of relative position vectors for the given mechanism it will be always equal to zero hence it is it has been proved here okay the next is the loop closure equation loop closure equation for the slider crank chain mechanism so in this uh, slider crank chain mechanism here if you see same case that is the planar mechanism in which <clears throat> this a point is the fixed point ab is the crank bc is the connecting rod and c point is the slider that is the piston so here the cyclic will be forming that is ab bar plus bc bar plus ca bar total in a cyclic form with reference to this origin o so if you take the summation of these vectors which will have which will be having some magnitude as well as direction so all all these values will be equal to zero okay so this is the loop closure equation for slider crank chain mechanism <coughs> now <clears throat> loop closure equation for the offset slider crank chain mechanism so here if you see the first slider crank chain mechanism was in line if you see here the position of a point and the position of c point they are in line but here <clears throat> the position of c point and a point it is having some eccentricity so such type of uh, slider crank chain mechanism is called as offset slider crank chain mechanism where we have to also consider this eccentricity in the vector form 
So I have shown here as A B bar plus B C bar plus C D bar plus D A bar, and all this summation will be always equal to zero. Means <clears throat> the statement is valid that the summation of relative position vector for all the given link lengths will be always equal to zero. So this is the basic part of this loop closure equation. Thank you.